Here's in one southern Connecticut town say they are. Today, today the Storm Ambulance Corps and Derby trained for a chemical attack with a bioterrorism drill. Fox 61's Lloyd Perez was on hand to see them in action. What we basically have is a simulated uh, nerve attack uh, on a train. We have approximately 15 victims. It isn't real, but it's providing real-life training. Level B team to the uh, staging area. An unknown chemical agent has been released, and Derby's Storm Ambulance Corps is responding. We're going to go in. We're going to find our victims. We're going to bring them out, and we're going to decontaminate them. It's a scenario they've been training for for three years. <laughs> Members are not only firefighters, but hazmat technicians and trained in terrorist response. They are small-town volunteers trained more comprehensively in some paid city department. Even a small town like this is capable of handling uh, the possibility of a, you know, a chemical or biological release. Today they showed what they can do with self-contained breathing suits. Uh, these can protect these guys from... Just about anything. They enter the hot zone and bring the victims out. They bring them out, they clean them off, wash them down, and then they're transported from there. It seems simple, but suiting up to enter a contaminated area, handle victims, and take take them to triage takes careful hours although they train every week on 9-11 chief tom lenart says he knew biohazard response would become part of their everyday focus what i did see was that that wasn't the end of it that was only the beginning of it today it is only a drill but nowadays many acknowledge it's training for a threat that seems ever more real Derby's ahead of the game in this area because the chief attended a biological warfare response convention three years ago. A fact town leaders and residents are regretfully thankful for. You know, this is going on in the world today. And this could actually happen to somebody and people. And it's very scary <laughs> to think about it. The scenario is, you know, unfortunately very scary, but, you know, it's better to have an ounce of prevention than a pound of care later on. In Derby, Lori Perez, Fox 61 News at 10. Corps members are also certified medical responders and rescue technicians. Griffin Hospital also trained today for a mass casualty incident.